We're, we're launching a, a brand new product at GlassX, which we've called, christened Super Spacer Heritage. Uh, it's a niche product aimed at a, a very particular sector of the market, and that's the restoration and replication sector. Well, there's an awful lot of properties in this country that no matter what you do with Document L or window energy ratings, you will not be able to replace those windows with your fancy down modern materials. So this really appeals to the timber sector and possibly those seeking to get authentic appearance in modern materials. But it lends itself perfectly to this kind of application. This is a, a timber vertical sliding sash window which you could only single glaze up until now. What we've done is to, to develop our engineering on super spacer. Um, we've developed a continuous silicon foam spacer with a very high desiccant content. It has 48% of its weight is desiccant. We brought its sight line down to just three millimeters and we've made it available in narrow air spaces of four, six and eight millimeters, which means not only can timber window manufacturers now reproduce authentically their old single glaze windows with modern high performance glass, but also you can go and renovate existing box sash windows by putting in a rebate for double glazing, putting in a unit the units are small, they're narrow air spaces, but they use high performance glass. And typically, you'll reduce the glass U value from about 5.6 on single glazing down to around two with high performance low E glass and Krypton gas fill. So this is a whole new sector for warm edge. Um, people have been playing with it, modifying products, trying to get it right, extending paint lines and so on. But this enables you to have a completely authentic appearance. We've made it available after extensive research in any colour you like so long as it's black, which does actually look superb in a window. So we think we, we've opened up a whole new sector in, in terms of timber manufacturers can now get real in terms of authentic appearance, high performance microphones, and, and we're in, introducing, if you like, low E into a sector where it couldn't go before. You know, low E can only be used basically in a double glazed or multi glazed configuration. So people with traditional homes couldn't look at it before, whereas now low E enters the traditional arena. So that's Super Spacer Heritage. Um, this window was provided for us by one of our customers, a company called Shield Woodworking Limited. They're based in Chipping Norton in uh, Oxfordshire. And the window has attracted some interest of its own. We've actually managed to get them some sales leads from the show. Um, so obviously you can wander around and inspect at will in a moment. And any questions at this stage on Super Spacer Heritage? Good, moving on. <laughs> Any other initiatives at the show? Yes, actually. Um, we're widening out our dealership offering. Some of you may be familiar with dealership. Dealership is it's a business partnership between EdgeTech's customers at various levels and us. Um, we have dealership cascading down through the IGU manufacturers into window fabricators and installers. And to make our offering more interesting, um, OK, we're a component supplier. But hopefully, if you talk to our customers, we don't behave like a component supplier. We behave much more like a systems house, like a true business partner. So we've widened our offering now to include the very latest in gas filling machinery. This is a new generation gas filling machine, uh, which has touchscreen controls, um, a very clever lance, which is actually interactive. When you're filling a unit, it tells you when you're done, and it tells you when you ought to take the next action as well. It gives you warning si signals if you're taking too long over any other processes. Again, this is manufactured by Inner Gas, for whom we're now distributors in the UK. We are distributors in several European countries, and also sole distributors in the United States. OK, so now we have a superb spacer. We have some glass units. We can put the gas in. But to go further, to make sure we can measure that we're doing things properly. We also have the spark-like non-invasive gas test device. It's a clever little device which actually fires a spark into the glass unit and then measures the color change to determine how much gas is in that unit. And of course, you can do this with a live unit without damaging the unit in any way at all. Traditional methods of measuring gas are always destructive, which are also very expensive. So spark-like, although it's an expensive bit of kit, Saves, pays for itself in just over a year and saves you money thereafter. It also has the advantage of looking very like the Millennium Falcon for any of you that were around in the 70s. If you don't want to go that far in terms of cost, we also have a, a little traditional gas testing device 
uh, which sells for about a sixth of the cost of that. So we can help you whatever your budget in terms of testing and gas filling. Again, the range of gas fillers includes very simple single line machines through to multi line machines and high speed machines. And obviously we'll roll that out over the course of the next few months in terms of more information and advertising and promotion. We also have, um, obviously we're involved with IGU manufacturers who need to comply to standards, mandatory standards now. We have a unified standard in Europe, EN 1279, for gas unit manufacture. Part two is mandatory if you want to sell units in our marketplace. But if you want to gas fill, then part three is mandatory. And the part three test is a very, very stringent test. It's accelerated and it does horrible things to sealed units. And it's a very difficult test to pass. And we decided to celebrate the success of EdgeTech customers in that we now have many, many that have passed. Um, so we've introduced our part three club. And part three club certifies on top of, if you like, the EN certificate that these guys have passed this very, very stringent test. And we've done this for a couple of reasons. One is, it's a business problem if you can't pass part three because you can't sell gas field units. But once you've passed, you kind of forget it. And the, the actual lengths that you went to to get that certificate are really worthy of mention to your customers and their downstream customers. So we'll be giving more information out about the test itself, hopefully some video footage very soon, and celebrating the fact that over 30 edge tech manufacturers now have EN 1279 Part 3 in their own right with Superspacer. And on a very selfish note, the rumor in the marketplace two, three years ago was, you want to get Part 3, Ooh, don't do it with Superspacer. <laughs> Whereas now, the marketplace knows, Part 3 with Superspacer, almost a doddle. So the Part 3 Club is to celebrate our customers' success, but also say, yeah, there's another unique selling point for you. I just wanted to, to have a word really about Superspacer in the, the architectural marketplace, which is not somewhere where you traditionally think about us, but we have a product which is absolutely ideal for structural glazing and architectural applications. This is a double glazed sealed unit made with our Superspacer Tri-Seal product. We're going to apply a vacuum to that unit, which is going to take the air out and we'll have equivalent pressure on that unit as we build up to a wind speed of over 300 miles an hour. If you actually go near it, you will see the glass flexing. You'll also see this metal bar on the back will flex. There's a meter on the end measuring exactly how much pressure we're applying. And Roland will probably eventually tell us the, the equivalent wind speed, but we'll go up to in the region of 300 miles an hour, and it won't break. You'll see that the unit retains its integrity. The PIB, which is part of our tri-seal spacer, will be retained in the proper place, i.e. behind the spacer. One of the problems with conventional units when it's under pressure, the PIB can splodge, and once it splodges, if it's in the sight line, it's not doing its job. So the unit retains complete integrity, even at these ludicrous speeds. Okay, Roland's going to release the pressure. He's going to stop the pump. He's going to let the valve go. Watch that metal bar come back, and you'll see just how dramatic that was. So please go tell your architects and specifiers that you saw it here first but you've got the ideal product for structural glazing. Now, if you'd like to turn your attention to the airflow table over here, my colleague, Mr. Carl Jones, is gonna dispel another industry myth. That industry myth is that if you want to apply Superspacer, you have to spend a fortune on expensive specialized equipment. Here's a very basic equipment setup that doesn't cost a fortune, is available today, and Carl will show you just how easy it is to apply Superspacer. He makes himself look almost like an expert during this demonstration. Yeah, that's the super space for applied. It lacks something in terms of being a double glazed unit, doesn't it, Carl? There's only one piece of glass on it. The very best automated equipment can probably produce a double glaze unit every 23 seconds. As you can see, manual application with Carl isn't that far behind. So again, please tell your readers or anybody you talk to, no, we saw it done. We saw it done on very low cost, simple equipment, and it's a doddle. Any of you can do it. Anybody wants to have a go, Carl will train you immediately afterwards. 
So hopefully we've given you a, a bit of a glimpse of what Edgetech's up to. We've got more ideas for next year. There will be more exciting developments and announcements. I thought that was coming all the way too. Um, thank you very much for your time. Does anybody have any questions on what we've talked about?